Hi everyone, welcome back to Simply Mara Marina. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how I will be setting up our 2019 um, budget planner. This is the Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly. I will leave a $10 off code um, below. So you get $10 like when you first sign up for it and you purchase your first like order. And then I also get $10 when you order ships. So I'll leave that down below for you guys, as well as the link to the products of Erin Condren that I'll be using. Also, the coloring is off on this video. I apologize. I have two sets of lights on because it's super dark where I live right now. So this is actually like a navy blue. There you go. That's more true to color. So the color isn't really up to par, but but that's okay. So anyways, we're setting up our planner. And I am like excited but nervous. I'm excited because it's a new year. It's a fresh start, but then I'm nervous because I'm implementing some new things too. So that should be interesting, but it's all like for a specific reason. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and flip over to our monthly page right here. Not monthly, our yearly page. And what I'm going to use this page for right here is going to be mainly like a sinking funds tracker. So we will be having sinking funds with many different categories. However, there are certain categories that will happen in a specific time. So for example, it'd be like birthdays, um, a wedding, our um, like AAA membership, gym membership, things like that. So I will be going ahead and placing down some transparent dots with a like mini little key, I guess, and go from there. And we also have everybody's birth dates that we... Um, for our families in this book. So I'm going to walk through this here. I'm only going to put birth dates that we actually buy gifts for because we don't buy gifts for every single family member. It's just specific people. Obviously, like my super close family and then uh, my husband's super close family. can see there's not too much going on here we just have five different color dots so pink we have anniversary the teal we have birthdays the blue we have our triple a membership red we have the wedding and then green are our gym fees so again these are just birth dates and like anniversaries that we actually like celebrate and buy gifts for so we can plan for that accordingly and and yeah that's about it these are occurrences that we know exactly when they are going to happen page here I'm going to use kind of like a pre-planning pad that's like built into um, my notebook so if anyone has like any dates or if anything random comes up or like I have two months to plan for something I'll write it here as long as I put like a sticky note like in that month just so I can go ahead and prepare for it like financially obviously um so for example there's going to be a retreat I think in September that I would be interested in attending so I'm going to go ahead and like write that in for September when I know the exact date so I can go ahead and plan for that if that's something that you know we could afford to do so I'm going to go ahead and just use these Erin Condren sheets here. I really wanted to use the silver, but there's no like March, so wah, so I'm probably just gonna use the gold. Um, and then I'm gonna place those at the top of of the boxes. changed it I had it like a different way before across but I didn't like that because I think it'd be cool to see half the year on one page and the other half of the year on the other page that's what that looks like um but yeah I think it looks cool the gold folding is really pretty I just don't like how it's just gold and I wish it was silver for this specific page okay so now for this page here we are going to do it um, as our monthly overview so what I'm going to actually do is take where are you is take one of these Erin Condren sticker kits here. Pull this bad boy out. Okay, and I'm actually going to cut both washies in half. The reason I'm cutting it in half is because I want to be able to have enough washi for most of the sheets that I'm going to be having for the month. I'm just going to place this here at the top. Okay. 
That's what I'm going to be doing here. Go ahead and be setting this up for our um, actual budget. This would be like financial goals, um, any like major notes or changes that I have to make for the next budget, budget, or like any motivational quotes will go here. But um, if you guys want, if the video isn't already up or if it is up, I'll go ahead and leave it right here so you guys can check it out. So the um, monthly overview I will also be including um, in our budget with me. Okay guys, so on the calendar pages here, I'm actually going to be using this as an expense tracker. So I went ahead and made this right here. I got this idea from Sarah Marie um, here on YouTube like, mm, I wanna say last February, so almost a year. But I just didn't wanna go and get the supplies and all that to like put it together. So we have blue, purple, yellow, orange and red this I feel like the yellow is like really like mustardy and stuff in person but I got this from Planner Kate I will go ahead and leave my Planner Kate haul linked here so you guys can go ahead and check out what I picked up from that haul but these are from her website um I'll actually show you guys what a sheet looks like here hang on a sec you're stuck so you get, I mean, quite a bit on the sheet. So I figured this would be really, really good. And it's like $5 for a sheet. And then there's also a 20% off coupon code that you could use. Um, but that's what I'm going to be doing. And I can actually just go ahead and clip this right in here. You get the coiled with, um, like, the life planner. But if you guys just want to get, like, the... Um, like, the coiled clip-ins, you could also do that. Just add it on to um, your monthly deluxe planner. I'll leave those linked for you guys so you guys can check them out. But, yeah, that's it. So every month, you mean you clip them in, and then when you want to change it to the next month, you can just pull it out. So I'm pretty excited for that. And then if you guys are familiar with my channel already, you know that I actually used to use this page, or technically currently use it because it's only December, what, 23rd? Um, I used to use it to track bills, but what I'm doing this year... For 2019 is I'm going to be taking um, this monthly bill tracker again from Erin Condren. Go ahead and leave this linked below but I'll also leave the haul in which I got this um, up above as well. So every month I will just go ahead and switch it out. I think I'm just going to leave it here. I think. Yeah I'm going to leave it in the beginning of the month here so I can go ahead and just when I pay a bill I can go ahead and write that in. Put that there. This is new, so it's going to be a pain to get in for a little bit, but. Actually, what I'll do is I'll actually put it in the front of my planner. That's what I'll do. Instead of having to flip to every month, I'll just put it in the front. That way I don't have to worry about it. And Shay Budgets here on YouTube, she actually uses this as well. So I will go ahead and leave her channel. Um, or her video, which she uses this down below. It's kind of a pain to get in when they're new. Put that in. So, yeah, if I pay a bill really quickly, I'll just go ahead, check, check, check it off. And actually, you guys, don't use a Sharpie pen. I tried to use a Sharpie pen, it didn't work. So, you just use the Sharpie permanent marker in the ultra fine point. This is the fine point, and it was not going to work. So, the ultra fine point is just literally like a mechanical pencil type looking one so make sure you use this one okay so I do not remember where I was exactly but I'm pretty sure I was showing you guys um this here so I did go ahead and put this in the front just so I have quick easy access to everything um again make sure you use a sharpie um like a ultra fine point marker not the pen because the pen it won't stay it'll just smear all over the place and then here I went ahead and I you just use the other pieces of the washi so remember when I split those in half so I split them in half because I wanted to be able to utilize as much space as possible you guys have to remember I'm coming from the really big Erin Condor which is kind of cool filming with a smaller one because I feel like it's a way better like angle that I can actually like fit my tripod and I have a really small desk so this works out really well for me now. Um, so yeah, I just went ahead and I just put the months. I used the rose gold because I liked how it looked. Um, I like how it looked with the baby blue. So I did that. And then here are the little labels that I use at the top. So you go ahead and just write weekly check in there. So there's that. I think it looks really pretty. Alright, and then right here I put sinking funds. So this is something new that I'm going to be doing this year. I'm actually going to be making a video... Yeah, I think I'm making a video dedicated to our sinking fund just to see how it goes. Um, just because this is new to me. So I want you guys to follow my journey on something that's new and kind of like scary to me personally. Um, so there's that. And then this page here, I'm going to leave blank for like any um, any notes, any like random math equations. I always grab like a scrappy piece of paper and I write them out. So I wanted to have a sheet where I could just go ahead and write everything out and I have to worry about 
finding that little piece of paper that I probably lost somewhere, you know? So that's gonna be for extra notes. And then the same thing for all, for all of the entire months. Um, so I wanna show you guys, I did use these bookmarks here. So I put one of the snap in bookmarks. This is from like the um, original pack, I think. I put one of the bookmarks in the front so I know exactly which month we're in. And then I put another one where our budget will start, where the weekly check-ins are, since I will be utilizing these two the most. And then I put one all the way in the back, see how easy it is to flip, where the notes are. And I thought I used this paper. And I used the, um, this is what the packaging looks like, but I just used the Erin Condren paper tape. This is the duo that it came in. I just really liked the pattern of this one. Um, so yeah, I put that there so I can easily access the back, even though there is a notes tab, but I mean, I want to use this. It's so easy to just pull and pull back. So... Here I have a sinking funds transaction log. So I put category, what it is, amount, and then the date. I should just put description, but I just put what. I don't know why. <laughs> and then I just went ahead and used my Erin Condren ruler and just made lines. So a couple pages for that. Here I have gift idea. So who, what the idea is, and the estimated cost. It's going to be like for like Christmas, um, birth dates, anniversary, random gifts, things like that. I will go ahead and keep track throughout the year here. So I have some of those. And guys, just you know, these little flags are from the Erin Condren um, sticker sheet. I was going to use different ones, but I just figured I might as well just use these up um, here. So I have debt. So I have the creditor, the interest rate, and the principal balance. So this will mostly be for like student loans. I'm going to put my husband's um, cell phone in here, and I'm going to put um, obviously our car loan and... What else? Um, my car warranty, that's a separate bill. It's like a $98 bill every month that we don't really need. So I'm going to go ahead and list those out. And then whenever we make a debt payment, I will go ahead and keep track of that too. So that also includes like our monthly payments too. So I'll put creditor. So I'll put the creditor. So for student loans, I'll write the, the loan company, the amount, and then the day it was paid. I think this is our last category and then right here I have cart maintenance and repairs so I put the vehicle the service of the repair and the amount oh man I should have put the date I oh, write that in here I'll just put date right here repair and date where's my pen that kind of stinks but anyways, yeah, so that kind of thinks that I messed that up. I mean, I could just pull out the page and do it again, but I really don't want to do that. Um, so, yep, there's that. So I have that. And then I have a bunch of extra paper, so if anything comes up throughout the year, I will definitely be able to use that. So that's how I set up the back pages, you guys. Nothing really too crazy. Um, it did take me a while to do because my camera, like I said, it died, so I just sat here and I did everything. Um, but, yeah, I am super excited for this journey. I, I, I really like how this looks right here with just the really thin washi. I'm super excited for um, starting to budget in 2019. There are going to be just lots of changes, so it's going to take me probably like two or three months just to get used to that. Um, but yeah, guys, that completes this video. If you guys like how I set this um, up with you guys, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you guys are going to use this um, similar to me, let me know. Or if you have any other ideas that I could use like the back pages for, let me know as well so I could see, you know, what's going to work for me. But yeah, guys, that completes this video. Again, I will leave all the products that I use down below along with a $10 off um, coupon code. Not coupon code. Along with a $10 off referral code that you can go ahead and click. And yeah, guys, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.